YouTube, what's going on? It's Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing Desktop Edition. Today we're going to be doing uh, breeding. Well, not breeding. We're going to be doing the horse creator option to create our own horse that eventually we will be able to use for breeding uh, once we hit Prestige 20. I'm currently at Prestige 10, so I've been playing a lot off screen. Just a reminder, guys, if you are new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will be uploading uh, Rival Stars on a much more regular basis. I'll be playing this version on the desktop as well as the mobile version, most specifically the mobile version for the uh, live events but of course the horse creator is the biggest and number one reason to get the desktop uh, edition of this game so today we're going to be creating a horse for my Gallup Racer 2004 series for those of you that obviously uh, follow that series uh, my favorite horse from that series my original favorite horse is Great Bolero most of you guys should remember Great Bolero I think he was one of our first Gallup Racer original horses that ended up actually being uh, a very successful Gallup Racer original winning a lot of G1s and everything so we're gonna be uh, attempting to create recreate the great Bolero and um, I am excited uh, to see what we can do with him now great Bolero I'm pretty sure he ran at the front and distance wise I think his distance was uh, well meters and for long conversion is a little bit different here track surface he liked the dirt uh, usually what would dirt surface actually class be classified as in this game? I'm not sure as far as the track surface is concerned. I assume turf would be a little bit softer, would it not? So I'll just put it to medium and distance. Um, I think 1,800 meters is actually pretty ideal. Now, this is a horse I will try to get. On the max distance is obviously 3,200. Um, forgot how many furlongs that is. Half of that is obviously uh, 16. So we'll do 18. Um, Great Bolero was um he had decent stamina to him stats uh we can make him any grade we want but of course i believe the higher grade we make him uh, the more he is going to cost but ideally he was a grade one horse and um like i said he won a lot of championships so i'm thinking about putting him maybe at grade 10. granted it's gonna be a while before we get there actually let's put him at um well, you know what? We'll work with him at, at grade 10 for now. But now the most important thing we're going to get to is his appearance. So Great Bolero's coat um, was pretty much it was kind of like this. He had a really shiny um, blackness uh, look to him. He didn't have any, um, have any birthmarks or anything. He was pretty much, uh, as I find the right one. Yeah, I missed that horse so much. I, I never felt such a connection. He had a similar... Um, I think he had a star stripe, honestly. I think this is really how he looked. Of course, he ran with blinkers in the Gallup Racer series, so we never really got to see this part of him. But before I put the blinkers on, I'm pretty sure he had a birthmark like that. And I remember his two fronts, um, two front legs. He had a full sock going as far as those were concerned. Back legs were pretty much like that. That is Great Bolero, our first Gallup Racer original that ended up becoming very successful and actually ended up siring a couple of foals. I think only two foals. And then I um, I allowed him to kind of retire uh, from that and I put another horse in his position. So, you know, the only thing is, uh, obviously, you have to wait till you hit Prestige 20 to use these horses for breeding. I do kind of want him to be grade 10 at the highest level. Um, Oh, I forgot. They're going to cost more if you want them completely maxed out. Um, so let me save him right now. And I'm not going to upload him yet because I want to see what his price is going to be. Can I see? Um, this is our first horse that we created. And show in story mode market. We can. Can we get any info? He's going to cost $7 million. Holy cow. Great Bolero, look at him. Absolutely beautiful stud there. I want, I'm sure he'll cost less, obviously, if we move, uh, drop his grade. Because uh, I haven't really experienced, I haven't experimented with this as much. So I'm very curious as to what his price will be. Um, and the difference between the levels. So, okay, he'll only cost 4100 if he was a grade 2 horse or a ranked whatever they call the the star ratings for the horses in this game uh, i'm a little indecisive about what to make him i would love to have him grade 10 or star rank 10 but man seven million dollars that's quite a bit 
Um, I may give him a star ranking of six, and then obviously we'd have to utilize our time to train him, or I could already essentially have him maxed out. Um, it's indecisive. I'm not sure where to put him. I'm, I'm assuming most people... I'll keep him level six for now, or grade six, actually. And I'll go ahead and look at the community and see what people are doing for their horses. I'm, I'm assuming most people probably have horses at grade 10, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other beautiful horses uh, members in the Rival Stars community have created and see what grade levels they've put their horses at. So, of course, some grade 10s and some grade 5s. I figured. I couldn't imagine there would be horses at like a grade 2 or something kind of random. But there is a grade 2 blended brother and i also have to keep in mind if i do want to eventually create horses and sell them in the marketplace or have them um you know available for download i, I would also like for some um inexperienced or some new uh, rival stars players to be able to download these horses obviously everybody's not going to have the money to download these grade 10 horses you know what i mean so um we can actually sort this i'm not sure what we can sort it by I hit the wrong thing. Well, I'm trying to... I wonder what it, it sorts these by. There's like no category specifically. Um, very weird. Very interesting. And you can obviously download these horses, which are really cool. So we're just going to go ahead and look at some of these horses. So there are some people that are actually making some lower ranked horses, which is great. And to be honest, as special as Great Bolero is for me, I also wouldn't mind having him be at a... Ooh, Zenyatta. Look at her. Zenyatta created by Non de Baritos. She looks beautiful. I may have to get her. But how, how much is she going to cost? <laughs> is the question so when you download a horse they're available in the marketplace right and she costs 24 million because she is maxed out so that's obviously the catch you can max a horse out but they're going to cost a ton of money um i'm thinking about having great bolero at a lower rank just because i can actually acquire him in the market if i put him at a certain grade level let's say um, of course, I won't be able to breed him anytime soon, but still being able to use him, especially once I start playing this game on a regular basis and coming out with episodes, that would be really, really, really fun to do. Um, in fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to recreate a lot of my horses from my Gallup Racer and other series in this game specifically. And um, yeah, we'll create some new ones, of course, as well. You guys have plenty of, of names I still have in my spreadsheet from the Gallup Racer series for... Um, Eventual Falls. California Chrome. Awesome. Where'd he go? American Pharaoh I just saw. Where's California Chrome? He disappeared. But anyways, American Pharaoh. What a beast. What a beast. How much does he cost? Oh, Seven million. So basically, if you put a, if you create a horse that is a grade 10 horse and you don't um, max them out with their stats, you keep them basically at their base level, they'll cost about 7.6 uh, million coins. Um, which isn't terrible, especially once you get up to the point where you can start acquiring grade 10 horses. Um, I know a very easy way to get money in this game. So I'm going to download American Pharaoh as well. Some of my favorite horses here. Where is... Who did we just see? California Chrome. There he is. California Chrome, grade 10. Already maxed out 23 million. This is what I do love about this game. This was an absolutely uh, brilliant feature for them to include in the desktop version um, of this game. Skip away has got to be in here as well. I wish you could sell horses. I mean, I wish you could search horses. I would search uh, skip away right now. So we have some beautiful horses here. I think, like I said, because I want to actually start racing with Great Bolero, what I'm going to end up doing is putting him at a grade where I can start utilizing him through some playthroughs. So I'm probably going to put them at either grade 5 or grade 6. I mean, there are some amazing, amazing horses, some amazing mares and studs in here. Like I said, this is a fantastic feature. And the mobile version had this. I mean, nobody would probably play the desktop version. So, you know, initially I wasn't too, um, too hyped, I guess I should say, about the desktop version of this game just because... Um, 
the lack of live events was kind of a big deal for me, but they were able to kind of balance that out here with this uh, community creations page. Not to mention it's much easier to get money and other things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to our collection here and we're gonna see who we have, which is just Great Bolero. Well, we have four horses. We have Great Bolero, we have California Chrome, we have American Pharaoh and Zenyatta. Now, of course, all these horses we're not going to be able to get anyways because we can't even acquire our grade 10 horses yet. But we will be able to once they're in the market. So with Great Bolero, um, I can't show him in the story mode market. And I do eventually want to upload him for others to use just to see if others do end up downloading him. So like I said, I think I'll keep him at a grade 6 because that's currently where I am in story mode right now. And let's see what his price will actually be. 1 million that is actually pretty doable because I've been able to get about a million uh, coins I've been able to accumulate well over a million coins I'm at current prestige level 10 and like I said I know how to get coins uh, relatively quickly so yeah we'll keep great bolero at a grade 6 I think that's what we're gonna need for our next events so um, let's go ahead and actually upload him to the community and it'd be amazing if we saw that uh, anybody downloads him. That'd be really nice. Uh, I hope. I hope. I, I do want to get into that much more, um, much more in depth as far as creating horses for people in the community to download. I'll create some great tens. I'll create some really, so much lower ranked horses. Um, like I said, just so people can uh, have them at different levels. I don't want to just create all grade ten horses, even though that's obviously the way to. Um, you know, the, the way it seems most players go. And uh, obviously that's an easy way to make money as well. But, you know, you can also create a really beautiful horse at a lower grade. And that could also be a good means of um, getting some money. So let's go ahead and look at our stats right quick. Uh, I did play online, which it was hard to tell if I was racing against actual players or bots. It said it, I was racing against real players, but they all had generic names. I think they were real, though. They definitely race much different than the AI do. I was able to at least win one of those, and I think I finished in the top three in the other two. So 33% win rate for online. As far as story mode is concerned, long as win streak is 52, it's really easy to win in story mode. I'm just grinding my levels, uh, trying to get to prestige 20 so I can eventually breed the horses I create. We do have a new foal here, and I'm not really doing anything super immersive as far as the breeding is concerned. I'm just uh, doing what I need to do to, like I said, rank up and get my levels much faster. So half of these horses, I, I'm not even like actually, I'm not really using, truthfully. I'm going to wait till I get to prestige 20, and then that's when I'm going to essentially start over. We have a new filly. That's actually pretty good for a level two. She might be worth keeping. Actually, I think she's maxed out for a level two filly. So you know what? I'm actually going to have the game take care of her. And I'm actually going to change her name if I can. Because like I said, she's... um. Go ahead and feed her. Blade Blackbird. I think that's her name. I'm going to change her name to keep her around because she definitely needs to be kept around because like I said she's actually a pretty good filly. We'll hire the most expensive caretaker we can, Saeed Nair. So we'll hire him to take care of her and uh, we'll feed her again. Can we? Oh no. Alright, so what I want to do is change her name, but I don't know if I can do that yet. If I don't think I can change her name until she is probably a mare, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I can't feed her until she's a mare, which is fine. But we'll definitely keep her because I think she's maxed out for a grade two. So she'll actually be good to use for breeding the lower level, lower ranked horses. Granted, I'm not sure if there will actually be a point to use lower ranked horses in this specific version of the, of the game on desktop because there's no live events. Obviously, for live events, you have the events where, you know, um, there's grade one and the grade two um horses that can only run in a certain race and then there's grade one to grade three horses that can only race in a certain race so in the live in the mobile version it's actually um important to keep your grade one grade two and grade three horses but for this game i'm not sure long term if that's actually going to be necessary you know what i mean so i have to sell a horse with a middle preference or middle uh, position and they want me to sell money and we will sell money actually I just named him Money because he was one of my, he or she, I didn't even pay attention, was only was one of my only horses that was actually making me money at that point in time. 
So Great Bolero should actually be in the market, right? <gasps> there he is. He costs one million. We do not have enough for him yet. Oh, man. He's not even really that expensive. for. A, I mean, he is and he isn't for a grade six. It's just I don't have the money right now. I need to actually do some grinding. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. We will acquire him at some point. Um, so let me go back to the market and see. Yeah, even if I were to sell horses, I mean, I don't think I have... I don't have enough horses to sell to get him right now as we speak. Um, Detective the Gloss will only give me 14. And then these horses aren't going to give me much because, well, they haven't earned anything now. L5, 59 million, or 59,000, excuse me, wouldn't be worthwhile either, which is completely fine. We'll, we'll get Great Bolero. He's in there. We know we'll get him. So actually, what we're going to do here, uh, or at least what I said I was going to do, I believe I said I was going to race, but let's actually see what goal do we need to hit. Place first, they killed their race three. So we'll go ahead and get a race in today. Um... They said kill their race three. I don't even have race three unlocked. Yeah, I can do uh, pearl race three. So we'll do pearl race three. Where's pearl? Do we have pearl unlocked? We do. Okay, pearl race three. And we'll race with 21, train 21. These horses have random names because, like I said, I'm really just grinding through story mode, like off screen when I'm not recording. So I'm just making horse names um very obvious ones that i know what i'm doing you know with them if i'm training a horse for something specific it's much easier to see that horse as opposed to going through you know six or seven other horses um it's just much easier to know okay this is the horse i'm currently using for this and uh yeah so we're actually do we're actually gonna race here we're gonna bet on ourselves of course um if you want to make money quickly in this game that is the obvious and easiest uh, way to do it um some people you know would advise you play it safe and do like a top three bet instead of a win bet i feel like as long as you're on a horse that's a pretty heavy favorite just do the win bet you're going to end up getting much more from that yes you can be more conservative and play the top three or the top two bet but of course you're not going to get that much money and if you're winning you're actually kind of um, hurting the amount of money you could be gaining from each race. So as long as you're on a horse that is a heavy favorite and a horse you feel like you're definitely going to win with, always place your win bets. You're going to end up making much more doing that than placing a conservative you know, top three bet. And then if you win, you're not getting as much money for that win. So like I said, if you're not sure if you're going to finish first in a race, then yes, play a top two or play a top three. But if you know you're going to win, always play the win bet. This is actually one of my favorite courses in the game. I can't recall. This is supposed to mimic. I can't remember if it's supposed to mimic Sha Tin, which is the race course in China. Um, I think it's supposed to mimic definitely one of those courses in China. Sha Tin or the other one I can't remember the name of. But from the background of the mountains and the building landscapes, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to mimic. And that is a bit loud. I apologize for that. All right, off and we go with 21 train. <laughs> in fact, that's just what I'm going to call him, even though his actual name that I wrote for him in this game was 21 train 21. 21 train 21 train, which is actually, now I think about it, quite catchy of a name. I mean, we've all heard of some pretty amazing and or ridiculous horse names before. And uh, 21 train 21 train is actually not as preposterous or ridiculous as I'm sure some others you have probably heard um, in the past. So we'll stick with him for now, of course. I mean, he's still my best horse currently. And um, yeah, like I said, this is my favorite course in the game. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be one of the courses in, in China. Sha Tin, I'm not 100% sure, but the landscape with the mountains in the background and the palm trees, for sure. Could be a course in Japan as well, but I think it's China. Because there is no courses in the United States uh, that look like this at all. With the amount of buildings, um, the landscape of the buildings, and then the backdrop. I mean, the only tracks with um, a clear mountain view during race day, I believe, is uh, Del Mar, Santa Anita um, as well. 
Uh, there's not too many racetracks where you get a huge view of the mountains and especially these buildings as well. And even the grandstands looks like that from one of the um, one of these circuits in China. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so yeah, like I said, definitely one of my favorite courses in the entire game. Uh, so when we come back for another episode here of Rival Stars, um, I think we'll just be creating more horses. In fact, that's what I'm probably going to do. And I may actually try to create a horse at a lower level that I can actually buy in the market as we speak. I'm going to keep Great Bolero at grade six because, uh, like I said, when I prestige up to the next level, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a grade six horse. So he'll be the horse that I'll use for those um, races and events. But I also would love to race with a horse I create like now that's not going to cost me as much. Um, just for the sake of being able to race with that horse. So I may go ahead and create like a grade three or something that'll be much more um, cost e cost efficient in the market to, to purchase. And that'll probably be one of the horses from my Gallup Racer series that I never really got a chance to race with. For those of you that obviously keep up, you know, you know the, uh, the fillies that I lost in that game because of just trainers wanting to take their horses away from me. Um, I, I figured that would kind of be my way of getting another chance to race with them. So um, the Phillies that I never got a chance to actually complete my races with, I feel, feel like we should uh, definitely race with them. And, um, yeah, we'll create them in this game. We'll create them at a lower ranked level just so we have a chance to race with them again and kind of earn some money with them and enjoy them that way. So a great win for 21 train, 21 train, easy win. And like I said, I knew I was going to win. So I get uh, 19.5 or essentially 19,000 uh, gold from the prize pool of just winning this race. And then because I put myself to bet or I, or I bet on myself to win, uh, I get 14,000 from my bet winnings. Now, if that was a different type of bet, if I did a, like a top three or a top two uh, conservative bet, I would have probably won less than half of that or about half. So, um, yeah. And 21 train 21 is at grade 23 or excuse me, he's at level 23 grade five. Um, so I wonder if I switch the market like this. Okay. So that is actually, I was wondering if your horse would go away. So when you create a custom horse, they stay in the market, even after new stocks come in, it just, instead of it being two different horses or two new horses, it'll be one new horse and then your original. So great Bolero will still be in here and I will be able to purchase him. And I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll create one of the fillies that I never really got a chance to race with and gallop racer. And then we'll put her like a grade two or a grade three. Um, cause like I said, I mean, the only things you can do with your horses are, you know, obviously race and story mode and, um, you know, I'll try to come up with some unique stories and things that we can kind of do for each horse to make it a little bit more immersive and exciting, uh, as a series, obviously, since you can technically race horses in this game forever because they don't actually have a retirement age like they do in other games. I figure it'll be cool to do some, um, like I said, to do some story simulations and, you know, try to give something meaningful to these horses and their lives. That way, um, you know, we can kind of simulate how it would be in reality as far as maybe after a certain amount of races, we'll actually retire them from racing and then, um, you know, kind of work, work our way. Because, I mean, you can create so many horses in this game and there's still a limit to the amount of stalls you can have. So realistically, I think the best thing to do would be to just set up. A, um, a certain number of races that I will, um, you know, uh, allow my horses to compete in. And then obviously once they hit that thresh mark, maybe we'll do some a random generator. They'll kind of generate how many horses, um, how many races a horse will have in its career. And then we'll stick to that. And then, like I said, we'll come up with our individual stories for each horse, um, depending on, you know, how much they can earn in their lifetime um, and anything else I can, you know, think of to add to make it. Uh, a very cool and, like I said, kind of realistic simulation. Um, that way we can, you know, experiment with different horses and experience different horses in this game because uh, we will be creating a lot. So I believe that will do it here for today's episode. I appreciate you guys. Uh, please remember to smash the like button. It does help out a lot. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Like I said, I will be uploading Rival Stars on a much more regular basis. Don't worry for the Galbracer fans. Galbracer is not going anywhere. That is always going to be... 
um, a consistent uh, thing on this channel, but I will be playing Rival Stars a lot more. I am actually enjoying this game again, especially on PC uh, with the um, you know with the graphics and the aesthetics. And like I said, the horse creator is really really a cool feature, and um, I've really been kind of enjoying the ideas and the different creations I've seen. So appreciate you guys. But until next time, Wars Racing Gamers and I'm out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.